discuss is former U.S. ambassador to Denmark and candidate for U.S. Senate in Pennsylvania, Carla Sands. Ambassador, welcome. It's great to have you back on the program. It's great to be with you, Jen. And it's unbelievable the Biden administration's inflation and their war on our energy and what it is doing to our working men and women and our seniors because they are really suffering from these out of control policies. In fact, his policies are such a train wreck. I mean, it's too kind to call them a train wreck. That's like calling the Titanic a boating accident. We are in trouble and I'm calling for Operation Warp Speed. So we harvest, we lay the pipes, we move that energy cleanly around our country and we get our cheap power back because that's going to bring down the price of everything. I have been talking about this energy issue for more than a year now and we know this is the number one driver after these multi-trillion dollar big bad bills that the Biden administration has been passing. But the energy, once we bring down the price at the pump, the price of everything is going to drop. And I'm actually mm. going to ask our presumptive nominee, our future Pennsylvania U.S. Senator Memon Oz for help on this, because we know how important this is. As you know, we just had an election in Pennsylvania less than two weeks ago. And I'd love to talk right. about that with your viewers, if that's OK. I would love to get to that. First, I want to ask you, though, because, you know, the midterms, as, as we're saying, you know, they're rapidly approaching here. Uh, the administration knows it's not looking good for them. It's not looking good for the Democrats. Why do you think they've hesitated to take action uh, when they could really be saving the American people so much money and really be helping themselves uh, when the election rolls around? Why do you think it, they're, they're hesitating? They are so wedded to this Green New Deal their idea that we're going to get off fossil fuels. You just heard President Biden talking about it over the last few days. They have no intention of really bringing down the price of the pump, maybe temporarily to help in the midterms. But the fact is, this is really hurting working people. They're having to make choices between buying gas for the car and buying groceries. We have to bring this price down. And I think we saw this administration really resist making any effort for the baby formula until people really protested strongly and, and said this is not acceptable. And I think they're not going to make a change until the American people say enough already, we've had enough. And you'll hear more announcements about this from me. I'm gonna be pushing strongly on the idea that we must, we, we need the emergency powers, we need to harvest, lay the pipes, move the energy around, we have to use our own domestic energy. First of all, it's cleaner than anywhere else, but we don't wanna be asking totalitarian regimes to give us their energy when we can do it cleaner here. And certainly it's essential for our national security. Putin has shown that, yeah. how he has weaponized energy. We have to have our domestic energy and we have enough to power the entire United States for 300 years, just under the ground in Pennsylvania. So we're really- And Ambassador, I know, I know uh, having been in Pennsylvania and meeting so many of the oil and gas workers were there, I know that is something that they can stand behind. And we're running out of time here, but I do want to get to that, uh, that Senate recount. What do you expect out of it? I know you said you've got your support behind Dr. Mehmet Oz. Uh, tell us how you think this is going to play out. So, you know, we have the count. Now they're going to do the recount, but recounts don't change the outcomes. I'll say this. I'm calling for Mehmet Oz to renounce his Turkish citizenship, to give our GOP faithful confidence that he's going to follow through on his campaign promises. But I'm also calling for Dave McCormick, and I'm calling for this along with the Republican National Committee and the state GOP, that he drop his lawsuit and we come together as a party to make sure that John Fetterman a socialist doesn't become the next U.S. senator from Pennsylvania. But also, I'm ca calling for Kathy Barnett. The time for sour grapes is over. We need to come together. And if we come and get behind Mehmet Oz, we share values with Mehmet Oz that we don't share with John Fetterman. He is a socialist, and we stand against everything he stands for. Energy, life, I mean, you can just go down the list. So I'm really calling for us as a party to come together to get behind our presumptive nominee. I understand the pain they're going through. This was a tough campaign. There were a lot of high Indeed. emotions. But the fact is, we have to hold this seat in November. And I will work as hard as I can with the party so that we... Ambassador Carla Sands, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We really appreciate it.
Thank you.